Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome to a map tour of the Valley, the Old Farm. This is the latest offering from Black Sheep Modding. This map has been in development for about a year. I remember when they first announced this, I think around January of this year, they said that uh, this map would be a long time coming, and <laughs> it's been a long time coming. It's been in testing on and off as well for the last couple of weeks. People have been screaming impatiently for this one to finally arrive, and here it is. Now, I do like to give maps props when they do something that little bit extra, that little bit special. Most recently, we had the West Coast, which was a beautiful, beautiful map. Very, very pretty, way above kind of the, uh, the level of detail that we see in a lot of maps. And this map has so much you can do with it so much functionality it's just an another incredible map so let's go in and take a closer look so we spawn in just here in the sort of bottom right section of the map here as you can see near field 62 uh, we do actually own as you can see quite a few fields dotted around the map fields 91 92 62 25 26 93 and field two kind of dotted around various different parts of the map so quite a nice little bit of land to get us started with but this is our home farm this is the main farm on the map and this is just a wonderful wonderful farm there's a few little things that we're going to kind of go through in quite big detail and a few others will kind of gloss over a little bit uh, just in here though this is where our chickens are so all your eggs will spawn in here in these little boxes which is a really nice little feature that uh, we saw in the old uh, in the old stream that the eggs would just be collected up in these sort of pallets I really do like that and saves you having to scramble all over the ground trying to find them and uh, we also have kind of like a, a mood lighting se <laughs> section for the chickens <laughs> perhaps let's get it on kind of area maybe who knows <laughs> uh, there is a nugget in here as well you can see there are nuggets we will come to the nuggets a little bit later in fact, i'm going to grab that one there we go so let's have a look at the equipment that we're starting with as well so we have ourselves a great plains cedar just here we have the uh, the little new holland 8340 just here as well complete with front loader and a bucket we have ourselves a uh, Kuhn Cultima, nice little cultivator just there. In here we have ourselves a fuel point. In here we have our fertilizer refill point. So you just drive your equipment in here and then you can uh, fill it up just there. We also have a Kvernland fertilizer spreader just here. And I think this might be a fill point for solid fertilizer as well. We also have a wash point just here with a pressure pressure washer. A case 1455, a Brightner trailer. Uh, we have a little workshop customization area just here. And then through this door, if you want to open it, we also have a little storage shed full of clutter. So lots and lots of little uh, mini bits of scenery, watering cans, buckets, leaf blowers, toolboxes, and so on and so forth. Uh, as we come around here, we also have some storage just in here. Through here, this door is just another way to get in through to our silo. So this is our down, sort of our uh, drop-off point here. And then we have the downpipe just here as well. Now the silo itself holds pretty much everything. And as you can see... 800,000 litre storage as well so a lot of storage at this particular silo just here uh, and then what we also have which you can just about see just up there is a little skid steer so if we jump our way up the, the ladder we've got this wonderful area up here where we can store our straw so you can do as you might have seen in some of the sort of black sheep testing videos that they've released you can drive like a trailer or something in here and then lift the bales onto the top and then you can use your skid steer to position those wherever you want to just grab that nugget as well but you also have this access ramp up here 
like this. So it's almost like a split level building. You can actually drive straight into this storage area as well. So you could even potentially use one of the new auto load trailers and perhaps drive in this way. It might be a little tricky getting out again, but you have options. Another little storage area just up here as well. And then we have our cows just over here. But I'm going to come back to the cows because there's something else I want you to see just before we do that. And that is uh, you know, a little sort of uh, garage over here where we have our pickup. This door itself doesn't open, uh, but that one will do. Uh, and then, more importantly than that, if we come up the stairs, we can go into the house. And again, we can cut through to the back garden over there, or to the cows. We have a working light switch in here, and we also have a really, really unique little feature. This TV is actually a tutorial system for your farm. So, you get close enough. Uh, the controls shown on here are for mouse and Xbox controller. Obviously, we've got the PlayStation, so you can see that the controls are in the uh, top left corner there. So, you press circle to turn your TV on. Uh, welcome to the map tutorial. And then, to read more, simply click on B for us. That's going to be circle, or just press X to go back. And that would be a square. So, you just hold the button down. You see the line zooms across, depending on how long you're holding the button for. And this shows you where we can collect our eggs. A sell point for the eggs also gives us some good heads up information about the map itself. So you can see as far as the sheep go, you can see where the wool spawns, the feeding area, the cleanliness area, the loading and unloading of your animals, your water point. You can see our sell point for wool. As far as the pigs, you can also see where the manure spawns, the feeding chamber and the cleanliness section, which you need to keep Cle uh, you know, cleaned up to keep their cleanliness at 100%. Where the liquid manure will spawn, the same for where you put the straw, water, your yeah, uh, interactive zone for loading and unloading. And then it shows you where we are here at the bottom as well. So you can see everything that we've just shown you there the fertilizer sections that we've just pointed out, the wash zone, the workshop, the silo, uh, and then obviously our fuel point. And then this is where our storage is with our uh, New Holland tractor and our seeder and cultivator. If we click onto the next page, you can see with the cows, we're gonna make our way up there in a moment. Uh, you can see there's a water point, manure point, a straw point, feeding zone, a little storage area for manure because the manure itself, I believe, spawns inside the cow shed, so you have to muck them out manually. And then down here, you can see again where we can load and unload our cows, light switch, cleanliness area, uh, a little feeding area for our cows just inside the field and also gives you an idea where the animal dealership is as well complete with coordinates on the map as well as you can see so really nice little touch this and it shows us the shop as well again with the coordinates it shows you you know what to look for if you want to buy a field we actually have these little for sale signs here on the on the farm which is a really nice little feature I think might have taken a little nudge there from uh, Bullet Bill and Oxygen David bringing that across but that's a really nice thing to see and then we have a couple of sell points as well so you can see at this particular sell point we have a place to sell grain where we can buy seed a place for us to sell bales grass and hay and then another place just here where we can get pick up some fertilizer as well on to the next sell point, this is the lumber mill. You can see where we can sell the wood itself, where we can sell wood chips. There's actually two locations, as you can see, to sell wood chips and two locations to sell wood as well. Cash point shown on there, and then a BGA it shows you where you can actually collect your, be your, uh, your uh, digestate from. Uh, again, we're gonna look at all of these in a little bit more detail, where you can also drop off your silage and some bunkers. There are three bunkers at the BGA, as well as a bit of storage. We get some free water on the map at these coordinates just here. We also have a water tower where we can actually buy water. Although if you have the choice between free water and buying water, most people are going to go with the free water. And then we have Farm 1. And uh, this is 
a nice big placeable zone that we have here. So this is this is the farm that we're currently at. Uh, and we have a nice big placeable zone so we can add to our farm if we want to. Really, really nice that we have that here. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff already at this farm, so it depends you know, how big the farm gets before you actually might start using this. We also have a second sell point just here, Agro Life. It shows you where you can sell your grains, where you can sell bales, and again, you can buy seed here as well. Farm 3 has a barn, so you can sell bales here. It also has a grain storage just here as well. And then Farm 2 has a bunker silo, a huge placeable area, and a fuel tank, and that's it. And again, we'll come to those in a moment. It also shows you how you can create a huge placeable zone here on Field 85. So if we take a look at our map, Field 85, let's actually do it on the main map. Where is Field 85? There, here's Field 85. So this field here can be made into a huge placeable zone. I think the same with fields that have this texture on them, possibly. They kind of look a little bit like grass fields on the minimap. So you can actually see that if you uh, remove the top of the uh, whatever's on the field, so in this case grass, and then use a roller to roll it back, you do get this nice placeable texture underneath. It's really, really nice to see. And again, you can see one here at Farm 3. We've got a grass section just here, which you can turn into a placeable zone should you want to. This map has so many options when it comes to customizing. Already, you know, Black Sheep have put out GIFs and uh, little mini screenshots that show just how you can combine some of these fields together to make monster fields should you want to. Uh, and then another little look here at Farm 1 showing you uh, some more information like in here for the cows. You've actually got two separate triggers, one for the gate and one for the door. That's a clever little uh, thing to actually see that because it might confuse some people the first time they're in there. Removing hedges is another great feature that this map has as well. It shows you how you need to do it. And obviously you can see it in progress there. You can just literally rip them up with a plow. Now, I was hoping that we would actually have this map out before the Platinum expansion. Because this would have been truly innovative at the time. But unfortunately, the Platinum map beat them to it just a little bit. But even so, I think Giants may be perhaps took their props from Black Sheep on this one because Black Sheep did announce removable hedges you know, months and months and months ago as part of this map. And then again you can see we have a little bit more detail of this farm up here. Uh, we have these little triggers which I'll be pointing out in a, in a second. And there we go. Just a little final thank you screen from Black Sheep just wanting to thank the model creators that he's used and also thanks to the players and mentioning that you can support him on his Discord channel as well. And then you get a couple of nice little screenshots. And there we go. We are back with the start of the TV. So, a wonderful little tutorial feature built into the map. Beautiful little uh, design. It's a really nice little style. And something I think that, again, is kind of really, really unique. So let's finish taking a look at farm number one. So this is the sheep area. So you might recognize this from the old stream map. We do actually have a light switch here this time as well. Uh, so our wool will spawn just here. And you know, we can drop off food into just here. And this is obviously where we need to keep clean. This will be where we actually drop off the animals themselves. So although it's not marked, you can see the dialog box pops up in the uh, control box just there. Storage again, you'll recognize some of these buildings and placeables from the old stream. Some of them have been recycled. There is a lot of new stuff on here as well. And here's that large placeable area that we saw a second ago. Really, really big area that you can see. And there is, I think, a nugget lurking just over here. Uh, I 
thought there was a nugget lurking just over here. Maybe I'm mistaking it with a different nugget. There's, there's quite a few. There are, I think, eight nuggets at the farm. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, I have found a, a series of nuggets to make sure that you know the first ten do spawn the rest on the map, and they do. And I'll do that at the end of the video, as always. And then we have our cows over here. So some of these doors open, some of them don't. And as we come in, again, we have working light switches. And this is our feed area. So this here is the food trough. The grass and feed will spawn here along the front of these railings. And then this interactive zone here is also the cleanliness area. So this is where we need to keep clean. You can also see that we can tip our straw in just here. But if you want to, you can also tip your straw in just here as well. Uh, I think this particular box that's marked out, this is actually the manure spawn point. So your manure should spawn inside this box. And then obviously you can pick it up and move it elsewhere. Nice little touch of seeing some oil stains here on the ground. Got a few of these... Uh, Lely Lunas around as well, some cow scratches. You've got the milking machine just over there as well. And a bug zapper. We have we have a bug zapper in here as well. That uh, bright blue glow as we kind of walk our way around the side. Here is our farm tech manure spreader. And this area has been kind of given to us for us to actually put our manure into once we take it out of the shed so we do have an opening door just there as well and one just here and you can actually see we've actually got the shed bsm logo just ghosted onto those doors there perhaps subliminally trying to get us to download the shed bsm pack we do have these shutter doors here on the front as well which just roll straight up into the ceiling like that there's two of those. Here's our uh, slurry point just here. So you can see we've got this nice big sort of uh, re you know recessed little area for our slurry. And there's the pickup point just there. I do like custom little details like that. And then obviously we've seen this section just here already. So that's the end of this part here. The end of farm one. Let's grab a tractor. And let's go uh, take a look at somewhere else. I don't get to use this tractor very often. So let's uh, use the New Holland. Let's get automatic engine start turned off. And we're going to drop the front loader. Because we don't need that. What's perhaps surprising about this map is that there are only two cell points for your grains. Really very surprising, considering how big this map is. Oh, of course, we get a case combine as well. There you can see the uh, 1660 parked up just there. Again, you'll recognize another sort of shed from the old stream map. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our way along this road here to get to the main road just there nice little uh, bridge just here and you can see that we're going over there little uh, dirt path underneath and that there is part of where our cows are so you can see that there's a large sort of area for our cows for them to sort of wander around in And we're going to head up here, head our way into the uh, into the first of the towns. I love the elevation change in this map as well. Got some really nice rolling hills in this map. Really, really big forest area, as you can see. Uh, forestry is quite big in this map, as you can see. We've got this massive forest to our left, and then this large forest here to our right as well. Loads and loads of places for you to do a lot of forestry. It's definitely something that is very much a strong feature in this map. And we're coming up to our pigs just here. 
So this is, I think, farm location number two, or this might just be the pigs themselves. This is just the pigs, actually. So if we open this gate up, a very fast opening gate there, drive our way in. Once again, we have some interactive doors. We have one just here. And this is where we can drop off straw for our uh, for our pigs. We have our food trough just here, and obviously the cleanliness marker just there as well. More lights on the interior, so we can see what we're doing nicely. Actually, this might be the straw point, or is this the manure point? This might be the manure point. Don't forget, if you do get confused, you can always go back and check the TV. Here we have a liquid slurry section. And here is the collection point for the slurry. And then as we make our way around here, we also have one of these uh, black sheep long storage tunnels. These mods actually came out many, 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 many months ago. Uh, nice to see those... Uh, make a little reappearance a little bit more storage just over here as well and we also have a bunker here as well excuse my stomach gurgling a nice little bunker here for some silage and there we go that is our pig section so we're gonna jump back in and move our way back along to the town going to carry on heading up north here. Now one thing you may know or you may not know is that Black Sheep actually held a naming contest many many months ago. I think about six months ago. Maybe even longer than that. They held a naming contest. There were four villages and they asked their fans name the villages that you want to see or you know come up with the names for the villages that are going to be in the map. And this is the first of one. This is Villeneuve. So this is one of the winning entries. There is actually a nugget in here, so I'm just going to quickly grab that. Just there. There are, say, quite a few nuggets at the farm. I just didn't want to spend ages looking around for them. We'll see those in a moment. This is the entrance down to the sawmill. You can see we have an automated barrier, which is really nice. Don't have to keep jumping out. Get some free bits of poplar here, I think, as well, possibly. They might just be decorative. Then we drive into the sawmill itself. So we have a storage area here at the, sta at the sawmill. And then, as you saw from the TV, we have a couple of different placeable areas or different interactive areas for us to actually sell things. So there is the first sell point for our wood chips. Just there, the kind of traditional big pile of wood chips. We also have a wood sell point just over there as well. Uh, this doesn't actually do anything. I'm not entirely sure why we have this exclamation symbol because it doesn't do anything so maybe there's some extra functionality for PC users here at the sawmill I don't know but on console or at least on my PS4 nothing happens here at this trigger see so we have a water tower just there as well uh, and then we have a log cell point just here as you can see and also a wood chip cell point just there complete with a crane as well so Really, really nice custom sawmill here. Let's head our way back out and continue heading through Villeneuve. Really nice to have this uh, quite fancy lumber mill, given just how big forestry is on this map. It really will keep you occupied with so much, should you want to. There's so many fields, so many options with your crops that you can do. A little bit of storage just lurking there between the buildings, as you can see. And then if we just quickly swing a right here, we've got a cash point just here. 
We've got a nice little scenic square, and I'm just going to jump over here and grab the nugget from the fountain. Really nice little scenic area here. You can see we've got some uh, some shops here with rock bottom, Guinness, badges and dotted around. A little grocery store. And if we follow this down and around, it should loop straight back. Yep, there we go. Onto the main road just here. We're going to go back up the hill and we're going to head up to the shop. Which is just up here. So if we jump in just here. Just going to park up just there. This is our store. So as you can see, we have a really big store area. Plenty of space for all those vehicles to be sort of dropped in. We do have a couple of nuggets lurking in here. One's just there. Uh, there is also another one in that sort of shed just at the way, you know, all the way at the back there. And there's another one just around this side as well. You can see there's a green shed just the other side of this building. And the nugget, I think, is... Oh, there. There's the nugget on this side. Uh, we might as well grab that, as long as we're here. Let's jump back into the New Holland. Continue exploring. Do have a diner here. With a nugget on the roof. So, not all of these nuggets are going to be easy and on the ground for you. You are going to have to work for a couple of them. Uh, and let's make our way over to the animal dealership. That's going to be this way. So you can see it's a very pretty map, the way everything's laid out. It's got that same kind of rustic country feel that the old stream map has. More little areas of storage that we might need or want later on. And here is the slaughterhouse. Make our way through here. And once again, this is where the interaction box is. Again, not marked on the ground, but this is the actual location where you can pick up and order your animals. So, where next? Well, we have... If we swing out this way, we have a couple of different locations to go and look at. Out to our uh, to our right, we have one of the other farms, and we also have one of our cell points. So we're going to kind of just cruise our way over there. See another one of these sort of bridges with an underpass. Give you kind of a look of some of the scenery of the map as we're just cruising our way along these uh, these roads here, trying not to crash into oncoming traffic while I'm not looking where I'm going and again you can see the rolling hills and the undulation and elevation changes all throughout this map it's really really pretty really nice map to drive around in and here we go this is the next farm I'm just trying to see where the official entry point to this farm is I think it's a little bit further around yeah so we'll, we'll go with the official entry point which is this dirt path just here. And here you can see this is the next village here, Coldstream. So this farm here has a little bit of stuff here for you, but not a huge amount. So we just jump out here. You can see we've got a little bit of storage here, and again we have some working lights, always a nice touch. We have a little farmhouse. We have a nice little storage area with a workshop and a nugget. No interactive garage there. We have a barn. We have some more storage areas just here. And then we have a lot of land around here that can be used 
and convert it into placeables. So field 48 here. This is one of those fields that you can roll back and turn into a placeable area and have this kind of dirt texture underneath rather than just grass or mud. We have a silo here as well, so you can see this is our drop-off point, and we also have a downpipe as well. So this one gives you a real nice opportunity to create a custom farm with a silo here already for us and a sort of a sell point for, uh, for our loose materials. There is another one that goes one better than that as well, and we will come to that in a moment. But we're going to quickly make our way over to the cell point just down here. And then we're going to whiz all the way back across the top of the map to the opposite side of the map, to the left-hand side of the map, and take a look at the cell point and the other farm over there as well. So this is our cell point over here. This is uh, Ray Fison. I think I'm pronouncing that right. might be wrong. So here is our wool cell point, just here, as indicated by the wool and the kind of rusted out forklift that we see just here. We have our grain cell point just here, and at the back you can see we can buy seed and fertilizer just there as well. We take a little tour through here. A little bit of storage, should we want it. You know, you could potentially store vehicles there, but this is actually a cell point for straw and loose materials as well so you know you could potentially you know park a vehicle or two just here but this is where we're going to be selling you know our loose straw and hay etc as well so you can sell quite a lot of stuff here and then we own a couple of fields over here as well fields 26 and 25 25 is a regular sort of crop field 26 it's one of those sort of uh, grass fields just here that we can roll back and uh, turn into a placeable area, I believe. Possibly. I'm not sure how many of those actually exist, or that might just be a grass field. And then if we follow this down, it'll take us all the way back down to our main farm. Now, we don't want to go that way. What we want to do is we want to kind of go along the top, hit the AgroLife, AgroStraw, and biogas cell points. Then we're going to make our way down to the yellow farm on the bottom left, just above field 80. So that's our next sort of target location. Let's see if we can take a slightly different route on the way back. You can see we're now leaving Coldstream. Let's see if we can actually show off a different part of the map on the way. If possible. There may only be uh, just the odd routes here and there. There is kind of a another pathway the other side of those fields, but it's more of a dirt path than a main road, I believe. Let's take it anyway. Let's get a, a nice scenic look. So we've got this kind of dirt road here. Let's see we've got some potholes and you know sort of mud puddles textured into it. There we go. And this gives you just an idea of just how many fields there are in this area as well. All ready and waiting to be combined together. If you work for it and you remove these trees that kind of separate them, this whole area could become one giant field. And there they are, we're back over here, so... Can we get out that way? Yes, we can. We're going to follow the road around the top here. But again, we've got a nice little mini forestry area here with these uh, with these fir trees, and these pine trees. See the water that's been snaking its way through the centre of the map. Kind of collects at this point just here. Perhaps the weakest part of the map is this kind of boundary here where it does get a little bit clunky in terms of its visual look compared to the rest of the map, but you can't really fault it for that. I mean, it, it, it does so much else right that you, know, you can forgive it 
you know, looking a little clunky right at the very borders, like that. And here you can see fields 4, 5 and 13, again, absolutely perfect for combining into one large field, laid out very, very nicely together. That was always something that Black Sheep wanted to do with this, was to have a nice mix of small, medium and large fields that could also be combined to, uh, to make very, very big fields. And here we go. We are at AgroLife, our second sell point. So, as we drive in here, you can see we have a storage area for, oh, sorry, a sell point for straw and hay. And then just around here, you can see we have our seed point just behind us. And then there is our cell point just there as well. Really, really small little cell point. And then just around the corner, here's the BGA. We're going to make our way down here. And this is one of those BGAs that I absolutely love because it's one of those BGAs that gives us a completely custom plant and just lays everything out really nicely as well. So as we drive in here, there's actually two different ways into this BGA. There's, a, there's another path just over there as well as you can see we have these three huge bunkers for you to actually create your silage we have a nice bit of storage area just over there as well we have this ramp leading up to our two different shredders just up here so we have a custom cell point for our silage as well and then around here this gate doesn't open, but it doesn't have collisions either. You can literally just drive straight through it. And then over here, just on this side, this is our trigger here to fill up our digestate. So a really nice custom BGA. I do love it when we get a proper custom BGA. And I do like these... Uh, bunkers with the, with the back wall on them as well. Makes them very, very easy to actually condense everything down without it spilling out the back again. It's something I personally am a huge fan of. Right, so all that's left now, really, to show you is the third farm. And this is potentially my favourite farm. You can see we're just leaving the next village there. I didn't get the chance to see its name because half of it was obscured. So there are four villages on this map that have been custom named by the fans. And we're coming back into Villeneuve here, as you can see. We need to kind of swing our way around these fields. And we are now leaving Villeneuve again. <laughs> <laughs> but look at these uh, look at the way the road changes height and, and the way it curves around I do love this it's really steep hills as well look how steep that hill is there very very vicious this is definitely uh, a map that I'm going to have a lot of fun with and we do have co uh, custom crop textures as well, as you can see. That, I believe, is potatoes on uh, on field 10 there. So customising is a big, big thing on this map. It's kind of the underlying theme. There's so much you can do to combine certain fields together. So... You can see at the bottom, you've got, bottom right, you've got field 60, 83, 61, 84, 66, 71, 70. All of those fields have been laid out and designed in such a way that if there's trees, if there's hedges, anything like that in the way, you can literally grind all of those up and that becomes one big field should you want to. Same with bottom left corner, 79, 78, 77, 87 and 75 all been designed and laid out in such a way that you can actually just grind everything up 
and turn it into one great big field. And that's an underlying theme that runs throughout this map, is the ability to customise the fields however you want. The fact that the trees can be removed is nothing new, but the fact that you can remove hedges and just plough everything together through the hedges is a really, really nice feature as well. And here we are arriving at the final field, no, sorry, the final farm, uh, and this one is a little bit special because of the opportunities it presents you. So slide the gate back. You saw there was a, a little smaller gate just there a moment ago as well. And this is it. This is the farm. We have two silos, or two silo bunkers here for making our silage. We have one <coughs> little building here for storage, complete with some lights. And then as we come around here, we have more lights. Turn those on. Inside this shed, you can see we have a little workshop bay, but it isn't actually a workshop. So you could put a toolbox mod in there and turn it into a workshop if you wanted to. Here is our kind of configuration point just here. Now this is uh, also our fuel point as well. And you can see this has kind of been lifted a little bit from Black Sheep's Valley, the old stream, uh, sorry, uh, old stream map, this sort of little section just here, up to here. Uh, we have a little bit of storage here, and that's it. No silos for your grain, nothing else, no massive amount of storage that you'll never use, just a little bit on the actual farmhouse, and then all this open space. We've always wanted to be able to custom build a farm from scratch. Well, now we pretty much can. We've been given the barest of bare essentials in that we have a fuel point, we have a workshop, we have a farmhouse, and we have silos for uh, silage. That's it. That's all we have. It's entirely up to us what we do here. So placeable grain silos, placeable sheds, if you want to put in a forage and chip silo, you can do that as well. You know, we can custom build a really, really nice farm here. Put in some seed and fertilizer trigger points. It's entirely up to us what we do with this area. And I really, really appreciate the fact that we have got an area that gives us just, just what we need just to basically start a farm and then just lets us get on with it from that point as well really really do appreciate that so the only thing that's left now is the nuggets now we've already collected what five or six nuggets and there is a nice little cluster of nuggets to complete that just here in this little park up by the shop so we're going to jump back to the shop for a second there's a lot of nuggets kind of dotted around this town so a great way to find the nuggets is literally just explore this town area. There's a whole heap of nuggets dotted everywhere. But in here, we also have a whole host of nuggets. Kind of nice and relatively easy to find as well. So if we cut through into our little sort of park area, I'm going to quickly show you five nuggets just to give you a head start on that as well. So we have our first one over here in this bush. We have the next one in the fountain just there and we have another one over here at this sort of uh, picnic-y area and there's another one here at the swing and then we also have another one over by this shed as well just there and that's the five nuggets in this park and you can see that we have nuggets showing up everywhere else because we've collected them all now. So let's give you an overview. You can see we have a large cluster of nuggets just up there. And obviously, there's a, a nice big concentration here in Villeneuve. Uh, down here at the farm, you can see we have a nice collection of nuggets as well. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
uh, directly at the farm and then you've got another couple that are kind of dotted around the areas as well we've even got a couple at this custom farm as well uh, lots and lots of nuggets scattered all over the map some you're going to have to really get out and explore for as well they're in these forest areas so you can see all the way through here we have some of those wonderful you know hidden nuggets to go and find and of course some of these are going to be a little tricky as well we do already know that this nugget just here at the diner is actually on the roof so uh, not your traditional you know really easy just walk and find nuggets some of these you will have to work for just a little bit and there we go that is the valley of the old farm as i say it's been a year in development it's finally av available and it's well well worth a look so please do have fun with this i know i'm going to thanks for watching i am jim bob and i will see you all again very soon